I think what you probably have gotten out of this meeting is just exactly what you were looking for and, and some stuff that you didn't know and that's yeah. the, the actual explanations of how some of these numbers uh, are come about. I know from the city standpoint and I'm, I'm speaking here from the county, I feel like personally that they've done a yeoman's job of trying to tackle this problem. They've made huge investments moving forward just as fast as they possibly can to fix this problem. Um, but at the end of the day, and, and we've used a lot of, of the terminology here of basically of the perception, and the perception is when they hear spill, then that's it. It's catastrophic, it's a terrible yeah, spill. Don't but really want to know the facts. You don't even want to know the facts. You don't want to get beyond the facts. It's another spill, uh, and they're contaminating our, you know, our, our water flow, and, and I, I'm sure that everybody understands that, but reality is, is that when you really look at the numbers, as Henry's been able to explain, again, a spill is a spill, but the magnitude of that spill is not really what the perception of the spill is. And as hard as they're working to try to resolve these problems, I know from our standpoint here and from, from Lambs County standpoint, you know, I feel like they're doing a fantastic job and, and to some degree uh, they don't get the credit that they really deserve for the efforts that they have taken and the commitments that they've made for the future to be able to resolve this issue. They're working on it. I agree. I wonder, uh, I'm hoping that the, the folks on the phone uh, or that they're still there, they would uh, like to hear their comments. I think they all turned into pumpkins at 4 o'clock. Um. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, well, well.